Hello, my name is Christian. Um, today in the first slide, we're going to be going over the early childhood walking development. So in this video, it shows about maybe like a one and a half year old child and he's going to start walking. And in this video, you'll see the different abnormalities this child has compared to an adult. So once I click play, Right there you are able to see that his base is wider which is different from other people that are walking and he also normally keeps his hands to the side of his body to create balance for himself while he's walking and as the video progresses he's going to start walking again and you can see that even right there the second of where you could see that he's already starting to lose a bit of balance so he has to pl always plantar flexion with his feet just to keep his body above his or his shoulders above his body so yeah and it shows right there that he's always keeping short steps and always doing bilaterally footsteps while walking forward and keeping his feet very far apart so he doesn't fall and he's keeping his arms to his side. Um, as the video continues, there's a source that I found that also states that children don't normally have a walking stance compared to an adults till they reach about the age of three, which I found online here at patient.info which is stated right there and that is all for the childhood gait development of a toddler so for this next video we're going to be looking at the gait development of uh, late childhood so this is going to be probably around the age of about four-ish, starting from around there. So in this video, it shows a little girl basically walking back and forth with a little toy. Um, and it just shows that she is much more in tune compared to when she probably was a lot younger. Because now that she's more in tune with her muscular stance, her all of her muscles that allow her to walk, you are able to see that she does not have to keep a large stance, it's just fast little little small steps. Um, doesn't have to keep their her arms uh, to the side a lot because she doesn't have to worry about so much about balance. There are times um, small ab abnormalities that you can see that she still has a bit of trouble with keeping balance. Like right there, she had a little skip. And that right there is just showing that her nervous system is still trying to basically learn. So right now, most of her thinking, her brain's just telling her to basically go to this toy. And her legs are just basically going. But she doesn't, her brain's still learning when to stop and basically keep her balance while she's walking. And... You can also see in this video it's not that well because she's kind of walking on her tippy toes but throughout most of the video you can see that it's always switching plantar dorsiflexion each step and also doing a bit of arm swing as well not too much but a bit and yeah, so Basically, the whole video is just showing the small steps that she's making, and yeah, keeping her balance as much as he, as much as she can. There, she's lost a little bit of balance, but overall, it just shows exactly what a childhood's development is at that age. So it doesn't have to worry so much about their balance, but rather focusing on 
where is an accurate time for her to stop walking. So that's a, it for this video. For this next video, we're going to be looking at the adulthood gait development of yeah, a common adult. So at this point, the individual is basically already in tune with their muscular needs for walking with um, all their leg muscles, their nervous system, and central nervous system, and all that that has to do with walking. So what this person differs from the previous videos, it shows that there's not a, not a big base, um, always keeping the feet close together, and switching through uh, dorsiflexion and plantar flexion which is also what I found here. The source that I found starts with the heel strike stance and then toe off, which is basically right here in the swings, swinging of the foot. So as we continue the video, something that I realized in this video that's different from the previous ones is that the adult in this video doesn't commonly have much arm swing compared to the children before so I believe this is reason because the children are still trying to get used to their balance and keeping your arms to your side typically helps with that and at this point of a person's life they don't necessarily have to worry about that worry about that anymore so this person just keeps their arms typically to their side and then here's going to show a slow-mo video of the transitioning of the foot and the swing of the foot. One abnormality of this video would just basically be the arm swinging. Um, the previous abnormalities with the previous video could have been the tiptoeing because the girl was tiptoeing a lot and a bit of in towing as well as when she was walking, keeping her feet almost kind of pigeon toed a bit. And in this video, the individual's keeping their feet straight forward and just walking with no problem. So I'm just gonna keep going. It shows that, yeah, how much arm swing and just Plantar Dorsey, Plantar Dorsey. So that's about it for this video and the normal gait of uh, adulthood. And for this last stage of the gait development of a person, we're going to be looking at older adulthood. So this is going to be at a point where the person's necessarily going to start needing help while walking, maybe a walker. And different types of shoes and always having a person next to them just in case they were to fall um, in this video it took quite a while for her to begin walking but as you see when she gets up right away you can see it's a small small base with their feet and then in this video you're gonna see there's not much dorsiflexion, typically it's plantar, and always keeping your foot planted and close to the ground. There's not much arm swing, and she doesn't really worry, have to worry much about balance, rather just trying to get to her destination. And this typically is known as steppage, steppage gait, which I found in... Uh, resource right here which basically shows that it needs assistance to have ground clearance typically it's weak with dorsiflexion so you saw that she wasn't having any dorsiflexion it was mainly plantar flexion and you could also see in this other reference from medicalnewstoday.com and pointing their toes to the ground and basically scraping their feet on the ground so they reduce less time having their feet on the floor. So as we continue the video, you can see that 
and she's just keeping her base really small and making small steps to the destination. And in this video, you can see a bit more arm swing, just keeping small steps, which is kind of basically similar to um, toddler at the early childhood development of walking because that child would keep small steps. Although they had a bigger base, they would have small steps that were very similar to this individual in the video. So also the different components and throughout the videos affect how a person is walking. So it could be the shoes, the people around them, the noises could affect a person's gait. So many factors can affect a person's gait while um, walking. So that's about it for this video and about, yeah, thank you.